Hi there. If you've seen the thumbnail and title for this video, then you already know what it's about and that's why you're here. So I'll try to get to it as quickly as possible. If you've seen any of my previous unboxing videos, you know how awkward these can be. I'll try to make this less awkward. Um, if you've not seen these uh, un unboxing videos by me, I apologize right now. Um, but before I get into it, um, if you like guitar nerdery and that kind of stuff, feel free to give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, do all those YouTube-y things. Um, with that out of the way, let's get into the unboxing of uh, this guitar. I've been waiting a long time to add something from the ESP line to my collection of guitars. I purchased this one uh, late last week. Um, I saw, I've, I've seen this guitar around a bit and most places where I live, which is in Australia, if you haven't worked out from my accent yet, we're selling these around I'm going to say you could find it around 800 900 Australian dollars. I ended up finding a place which you'll probably be able to work out because of the stickers. I bought it from Belfield Music, which I believe is in Sydney in Australia. I bought it, I think I've bought two guitars from them before. Um, they had it drastically reduced on uh, what's it called eBay so I bought it drastically reduced and I was very happy about that um, all right in the box the usual Allen keys Allen wrenches whatever you like to call them and one guitar plus card telling me that the sides, the neck, the fretboard, the bridge and the saddle, the hardware, the electronic, the top, the back and the peg head nut have all been inspected. So this is an LTD from the ESP family of guitars. And there are a few reasons why I wanted this particular guitar. I'm pretty sure I have this thing that I always tell my family. Every time you buy a guitar, try to make sure it's got something that a previous guitar in your collection doesn't have. So this ticks a few of those boxes. I do not have a matte black guitar. Well, let me rephrase that. Up until now, I did not have a matte black guitar. I certainly didn't have anything from the ESP family. Um, I also have never owned a guitar with a reversed headstock. It is nice to finally see a don't know if you can see that. Designed by ESP. As that matte black is seriously nice. Um, again, if you've not been to my channel before, I do have a fascination for all things black and all white when it comes to guitars. This certainly ticks the black box. Um, outside of the fretboard, some branding, and this pickup that I'll get to in a second. This is a very black, very, very black guitar, I'm trying to get some shine so that you can actually see something. Um, and so this is the M201. Oh, 
seriously sexy guitar. All right, so the pickup, I believe is called, um, I believe the finish of the pickups is um, brushed steel, brushed metal. Um, I'll probably get it right and put it on the screen for whatever it's actually called, but um, is a really nice looking pickup. And as you can probably see from this single volume control, this is push pull, allowing you to get a little bit more tonal variety out of the guitar that realistically has primarily been created for, well for me at least, for metal usage. This is a single pickup, bridge position, just volume, plug it in and hopefully make a lot of metal noise. I do not recall all of the specs. I will put them on the screen at some stage if I have not done that already. Um, quick look at the guitar, which I've been doing since unboxing it and admiring it greatly. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, the frets, sorry, the action on the guitar looks very playable. 24 frets. I seriously love that the the neck, apart from the actual fretboard surface, is just black everywhere. It's this is beautiful. All right, I will from here see how tuned it is, which is not very. Um, tune it up, plug it in, and uh, try to get some sounds out of it and share those with you. And let's get to that.
Okay, so this video is most likely going to have a lot of continuity problems. Um, I did the unboxing like in real world time, probably two to three weeks ago. It's taken me a long time to get the, um, find the time to do the audio um, recording. I've finally done that. If all gone, if all has gone well, um, using words properly, uh, then I've managed to put together some clean and distorted sounds using the, this guitar's only pickup, but in the, I'm going to say the standard humbucker mode. It really is a very black guitar, isn't it? Um, but then also the split coil option. Um, for my old man ears, I'm going to say that I didn't notice a great deal of difference between, um, like the tone when I was um, split calling, but when recording through my door, um, I did notice like um, volume difference. Um, so I came closer to clipping with the humbucker mode. Um, for me, I seriously, seriously love this guitar. I bought it to just use this in the humbucker mode um, for metal recording. I don't do a lot of um, clean recording. If you watched and listened to the clean recording in this video, you'll probably understand why I don't do a lot of uh, clean recording. But yeah, all right, way too much talking in this video. I seriously love this guitar. Um, I'm glad to have finally bought something from the ESP um, LTD range, the matte black, love it. Playability of this guitar, love it. Sound, Love it. I love this guitar. I'm very, very happy with this purchase. I hope you have enjoyed uh, the bits of the unboxing and sound pieces of the video that you've perhaps watched if you've made it this far. Um, please consider giving the video a, um, a thumbs up. Helps me out. Makes me feel okay. Um, it's probably good for the tiny channel that I've got. Um, if you want to give the channel a subscribe, I appreciate it. Tell your friends. Um, until the next time I manage to sneak a new guitar into the house without anyone else noticing, farewell. Take care.